first day of pads. I guess just, you know, we talked to Rhonda and he said this is when the real football starts. I guess, what are your thoughts on, you know, getting back out there and with the pads on and, yeah. Rhonda pretty much just said it. Like, his first day of pads, it felt good. Finally can hit each other. And, uh, yeah, it just it's different than not having pads on and just going, running our routes differently. But now we just have to, now we have to implement the physical aspects so it felt good. Amy, hey, I know this team was kind of searching for that number two wide receiver a season ago. I know you had uh, flashes of brilliance at times. Um, how much do you look forward to kind of being that guy who can be that number two or maybe even that number one option? Uh, just just making the plays when they count, as I was doing, just continue building on what I did last year and just be a better receiver than Matt, as I could be. A new number this year, what was the process behind that? It was, it was a process since I was a freshman. I know I wanted number five, Rhino had it. So I'm just like, I, I, I had to wait my turn to get it. And then I did had the season I had and then Cliff Gabriel gave me the blessing to get number five, so I took it. You talked to Rhino at all in the off season? Did he give you a blessing too or more so coach? Nah, I barely seen Rhino, but I seen him a couple of times, but I don't think he knew I had number five on yet. <laughs> uh, in the off season, you were very briefly in the transfer portal. What was that process like? Just And what made you come back to Syracuse? It was just, it was a lot going on mentally. I had to sit down and talk to my family and then after I made the best decision for myself and my future. What's kind of the main focus this week for you guys and what you want to accomplish? Just be fundamentally sound on offense. Make sure we execute the plays properly and do our part. What's different about working with Carlos, Justin, and, and maybe Garrett? How are they different? It's not really different because I'm, I'm used to all of them. So just... We just got to keep working to make sure we build the chemistry. And once we build the chemistry and we get it solidified, then we'll be good. What has Coach Beck been like since taking over as OC? Has he really been different than Coach Nye at all or too early to tell? They have the same, around the same coaching style, but as a coach, you got to respect them as a player. So just listen to what he has to say and apply and apply what he what he tells you to do on the field. It's early, Damian, but what, what are the expectations you guys have been told about having a full-time nutritionist? Just being healthier, staying healthy, avoiding injuries. Uh, that's basically it, just avoiding injuries so we can stay healthy when we go through the season. And when the season comes around, then we'll stay healthy as well. Specifically with avoiding injuries, is, yeah. what do they tell you about that, like the process of that, of how maybe this can avoid some Just that hydration and eating well, avoiding certain certain meals and drinking more water, more fluids to make sure that you're, you're hydrated. Amy, you mentioned being the best player that you can be. What are some of the things that you've worked on in the off season and are going to continue to work on here um, in spring uh, spring practice to bring out the best? In you? Just my getting off the press, as I always been trying to work on my blocking. I got a little bit better towards towards the end of the season, and then just just keep building on that and then see how it goes from there. Do you feel like you can take on more of like a veteran role this year? Um, you know, for younger guys to kind of look up to you and. Yeah, I feel like because I'm one of the oldest in the receiver room. Well, I don't know if I'm the oldest on the team, but <laughs> <laughs> just like the guys, I know there's some guys that look up to me as a leader, so I got to make sure I'm, I'm on top of everything. I don't come in practice with a bad energy and just make sure that I keep them motivated. Do you like having that type of role, like, that, you know, for guys to look up to you? It's not a role I had for since I came here, but I had it in Florida. I had a cap, sort of a captain role in Florida, so, like, I'm kind of used to it. And just having it in college, I feel like it's kind of a blessing in a way. What are some of your expectations for this upcoming season? Just win football games. Just do what we got to do and do what we do in our powers to win games. Any personal goals? Just just have a good season so I can set my future. Last two for Damien. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thank, thank you.